Hey guys, it's Roman the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 279 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. A company provides each of its employees with death benefit of 100. The company purchases insurance that will pay the cost of total death benefits in excess of 400 per year. So that means if it's like 100, 200, 300, um, they, the company the company have to pay out of pocket. The insurance company will only start paying once it's over 400. And it's saying the number of employees who will die during the year is Poisson random variable with mean two. Calculate the expected annual cost of the companies providing the death benefits, excluding the cost of the insurance. Okay, so excluding cost of the insurance just means we don't have to worry about how much it costs for us to buy the insurance. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so the number of deaths could be zero. For Poisson distribution, x is equal to little x is equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial. So then if um, x is equal to zero, the probability of that, x is equal to, let me say this is equal to little n. So this is number of death. So this is equal to e to the negative um, two, and everything just zero, I mean everything just one, and it, the payment amount is equal to zero because the, there was nobody that died, you don't have to pay anything. If there is one death, right, if there's, yeah, if there's one death that has a probability of e to the negative two, two to the first power over one factorial, okay, so and they, the company would have to pay 100 because one person died. If two people die, then that's e to the negative 2. 2 to the second power, that's just 4 over four over 2 factorial, which is just 2. And they would have to pay 200 because there's two people. If it's 3, it's equal to e to the negative 2. 3 to the second power. Oh no, 2 to the second power, or 2 to the cube power, so that's 8 over 3 factorial, that's 4. Wait, I'm just messing with you. Guys, it's 6, and they would have to pay 300. If it's 4, okay, I'm not going to calculate these probabilities because you'll see. If it's 4, if there's 4 death, then the company would have to pay 400. If it's 5 death, the company would also have to pay 400. 6 death, 400, so on and so on, so some maximum number, right? So what, we just have to find what is the probability of the whole thing being 400? Well, that's just equal to 1 minus the probability of these ones, right? So let me type that into my calculator real quick. So that's approximately equal to 0.14287. I just did 1 minus e to negative 2, factor it out. Um, parentheses 1 plus 2 plus 8 2 plus 8 over 6 and I got that number okay and an expectation we know is just the number times the probability right 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 I mean the probability times yeah the x so this would be equal to okay so I'm just gonna do a hundred times e to negative 2 2 plus 200 times e to the negative 2 times 2 plus 300 times e to the negative 2, 8 over 6 plus 400 times 0.1487 and this is equal to 192.485 which is approximately equal to um, C. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.